Hello everyone, Tawana Michelle here. I am back with the narcissistic abuse recovery tip of the week. Sitting outside, enjoying nature, my favorite place to be. So I really wanna just talk about holiday grief and narcissists. Um, we are now in the middle of the holiday season. Thanksgiving has recently passed. Um, Christmas is approaching, New Year's, all the major holidays that uh, many of us Americans like to celebrate. And it can be a very festive, joyous time. And it can also be a very sad, depressing time um, for many. The holiday season, um, because of the historical nature of it and its connection to family and love and all of the expectations of happiness and joy that you expect to have and believe you're supposed to have around the holidays. Um, because there's all of that, when we don't have that, it can bring on feelings of um, despondency and sadness and grief. I just want to normalize that to say um, that happens. You know, we all tend to think about those who are no longer with us um, during the holidays, either physically, we think about people who have passed away, and we also think about people that we have once loved and who are no longer present in our lives. Now, the narcissist, um, if you are out of your relationship with a narcissist and you are recovering from narcissistic abuse, then you are on your way to healing and recovery. So that's a wonderful, positive thing. Um, it can also bring about many complicated feelings, especially during the holidays. So because the narcissist was someone that you once loved, it is okay and even normal to have thoughts about the narcissist, to miss the narcissist, to wonder, you know, what are they doing right now? How are they spending their holidays? Who are they spending their holidays with? What's going on in their lives? So it's normal to have those types of thoughts. You may even start to think about positive memories that you have had with the narcissist. And you may find yourself, you know, wanting to reach out to them because you miss them and you're thinking about all of the good times. So it's okay if that happens. Um, the main thing is to just stay focused on your healing and know that these feelings are normal, these thoughts are normal. Um, let me deal with myself so that I don't reach out to this person because you don't want to do that. You may also be having increased hoovering from the narcissist, meaning the narcissist may be trying to make contact with you more, more frequent contact. They may be upping the ante and just being going about um, trying to contact you in more desperate ways. So be prepared for that if it hasn't already happened. The narcissist tends to show up um, on holidays, birthdays, any day that you consider special, the narcissist knows that. So the narcissist knows that they can play on your emotions during that time. And you may be more vulnerable during that time because of those special days and those special memories and moments that you may have had with that person. But don't allow that to pull you back into that narcissistic abuse cycle. Grieve your loss, grieve for yourself, have compassion for yourself. You know, sometimes we focus a lot on the narcissist, who they were, the things that they did, how horrible they were, how much they hurt us. And that's fine because it, it helps to keep those things in our awareness, um, helps us to understand what happened in that relationship. But sometimes we forget that, uh, we were the other person um, in that relationship who needs love and nurturing and compassion. And sometimes we put too much of our attention and focus on the narcissist and don't give enough of that to ourselves. This is the time to give that to yourself. This is the time to acknowledge 
okay, I miss this person. I once loved this person. It's over. I'm not with them for this holiday, but I'm here. I survived it. For many, for myself, I can say, or well, for all of us, if you're watching this, I'm alive. But that may not have been the case had I stayed with a narcissist. That may not have been the case if you stayed with a narcissist. So you can think about all of the things that you are grateful for and still grieve your loss. It's possible to do both. It's possible to do both simultaneously. I will say it's nearly impossible to just focus on gratitude when you have not grieved. And that's one of the things that people tend to struggle with because they're like, I can't, I can't think positively. I can't focus on gratitude. And um, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work because there are blockages. It doesn't work because before we can acknowledge what we've gained through our separation from the narcissist, then before we can do that, we do have to kind of feel those unpleasant feelings and grieve for ourselves and grieve the loss of something that was once very meaningful to us. So do that. Take care of yourselves. And remember this holiday season that it's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to miss the narcissist. It's okay to think about them. Just don't go backwards. Keep moving forward in your healing and your recovery. And just know that I am thinking about you um, there with you in spirit and survivors are kind of like that we, we're connected through our shared experience and we can relate and have immense compassion for each other because of that so I'm here with you lean on your people you've got some support people in your life hopefully um, if you don't reach out to a support group there are support groups that can help you during this process, um, but don't do it alone. And enjoy your holiday, and thanks for watching. Bye.